In this video, we will discuss scale versus magnification in RoadEng software. On the View tab, the Scale Combo box allows you to select or type a scale for the view. Depending on the project, and the scale you set, 1 cm on the scale could represent 100 meters in real life. As you zoom in and out of a window using your mouse, the scale will adjust. This is the Lock Scale button. The Lock Scale button toggles between zooming by magnification, or zooming by scale. Having your scale unlocked is usually more appropriate for designing, while being magnified, scale lock on, is better suited for adding and editing labels that will be printed. Let's look at magnification versus scale lock in more detail. Here we can see our profile view. Our scale is set at 1 to 2000. There are two places that we can lock the scale. Down here in the bottom zoom tools toolbar, and here in the view tab. For now, let's leave it off. When we zoom in, using the center roller ball on our mouse, you can see the scale is changing. Our label size, line type and symbols all scale. When we zoom even further in, we can make edits and see that everything is smooth. We are able to easily grab the intersection point and edit our design. Let's go back, and reset our scale to 1 to 2000. But this time let's use scale lock. When we zoom in, we can see that the lines get heavier, our text gets larger. When our scale is locked, we are not changing our scale, we are just magnifying our view. Here, we are at a moderate magnification, we can click around and everything behaves reasonably well. Now, if we zoom way in, we will find it is really hard to locate the snapping point for that IP. And when we move it, positioning it, it appears jumpy. The tolerances are set relative to the scale, not the magnification. We hope this short video helped you to understand more about scales and magnification using scale lock in RoadEng software.